Got a mask policy. These are the prices and the hours. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Fort Wayne, Indiana visiting the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. I just purchased my hat at the little gift shop kiosk that they have just inside the entry gate. Uh, because I'm having to wear a mask today, my glasses are a little bit fogged up and I might sound a little bit different wearing a mask. It's hard to breathe through sometimes. So Fort Wayne Children's Zoo is not just for children. It is a good sized property. They do have several rides that are open today, including a sky ride. I'm glad I brought my jacket. So I'm gonna find a map, show it to you, and we're gonna get started. Right, so just to the right of the main entry, there's a the restroom location. So they are recommending a sea lion's length apart. All right, white-throated capuchin monkey. This is their habitat. And because of the cold temperature right now, it's about 54 degrees. Some animals may not be out in their habitats at all today, or they will be out a little bit later. So I will definitely try to come back and see them if they are out. There right, we got a Canada lynx. See their habitat. And they are in the back with one of the staff. They are not officially in their habitat yet. They're still in the behind the scenes area. All right, so there are arrows pointing the directions of the different areas of the zoo. It is suggested for new visitors to, at the end of every path, make a right turn as a zoo is in a loop format that way you won't miss anything we're going to go check out the african journey right down this path to the right so even before you get to the african area you think of this fantastic waterfall and nice stream even the plant life is really nice all right so today i have the sky safari it is not open yet. They are doing their safety check. So it'll be open a little bit later. So I will come back and go for a ride on it. So we're gonna start with the safari trail. All right, so I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but I think it's called the Sitatunga. This is their habitat. And I've never seen this particular animal in any other zoo before. There are two of them in here, one hidden behind a tree. There we go. There's actually three. I thought there was only two. The other one's over here. You can barely see his head. So these are cute little critters. Got this awesome stream and waterfall. All right, so spot nose monkey and Allen swamp monkey. So this is the monkey's habitat. They are not out at the moment. So I will check back a little bit later to see if they are available. Well, it's a little bit warmer. So the whole look of this place so far is fantastic. You got the old tile of signage. Yeah, safari station. Oh yeah, look at that. Old vehicle. Look at that. And lots of wood paths to walk on. That's a classic Land Rover. And back here we got some red-billed hornbill. Hi birdies. Good morning. I know I don't expect them to talk back to me. Still gotta be polite. Great white pelican. All right. 
Pelican's got a fantastic habitat. You definitely smell the pelicans. <laughs> I'm kind of making nervous with my camera equipment. I need some big birds. Yeah, sometimes the size of my camera with my microphone on top can be intimidating to the animals. Yeah, they'll all just give me that look. Alright, a white stork. So all the animals have access to their inside habitat. So I do not see the white stork at the moment. So anything that I miss, I will definitely come back. Got bat-eared fox. The second one. All right, spotted hyena. I do not see the spot of hyena right now. Not the yellow tape behind is because you're working on the habitat. Really better view of the bat eared fox. And the other one over there. This whole area has all different rock work. Ooh, lions. African lion. The lion's habitat. Here's his teeny. There is the lioness. There's the male lion doing his patrols. Male lions keep the pride safe. And the female lionesses do all of the hunting. Trying to get a good shot of them. All right, serval. It's a serval. You don't know which place you want to go. You okay, kitty cat? Look at its colors and it's got some stripes and some spots. Nice cute short tail. Alright, Cape Porcupine. Alright, so Porcupine you do not see right now, so I will come back. Alright, Banded Mongoose. I also do not see them yet, but it is still early. The zoo only open at 9, so I have plenty of time to come back. So these guys do have access to be indoors, and that's most likely where they are right now. Another side view of the lion. There's the two lions that they have, Bati and Inna. I'm going to say it again, the landscaping all along the trails is fantastic. Alright, so radiated tortoise. This is the radiated tortoise's habitat. Now, I'm not sure if they are going to be out or if they are put up for the winterization of the zoo because the cold temperatures don't suit the turtles very well. But I will check back later anyway. Right, so, from this path, you see some of the zebra and also one of the birds in the back I believe it's an ostrich alright African village and you see the leopards and the monkeys You've got silvery cheeked hornbill I do love the hornbills
again, I believe this is the first time I've seen this particular species. I've seen other types of hornbills, but not this particular variety. All right, we come to Market Oasis. This is what they have for their menu. It's got my refillable bottle for $7.99. Keep me hydrated for today. All right, we've got leopard. There's the leopard. He's kind of hidden behind all the brush. Well. I'll check back a little bit later, see if I can get a better view of them. And we got some DeBraza's monkey. Alright. Wow, that's nice. So we got a smaller one here in the back. Climbing on the rock. We've got lots of stuff to climb on. I hope I do see another one as well. There we go. Alright, the black and white Columbus monkey. Love seeing these guys. You get this gorgeous black and white fur and long fluffy tail. And there's Alan's swamp monkey. This is in the same habitat as the Columbus monkey. Got another one over here to the side, enjoying some grass. So again, these critters have plenty of space and stuff to climb on. You have restroom locations right over here as well. All right, found a safari trail and giraffes coming up. All right, we got a Vero's eagle owl. Wow, right at close. Alright, look at that. That is awesome. Alright, so this is the giraffe feeding station. Uh, giraffes are not currently out yet because it's still a little too chilly for them. So I will come back a little bit later in my visit and we'll get to see the giraffes. Right, so we saw a bit of this from the path earlier. We got ostrich. Plains of zebra. Got white bearded wildebeest and Rubel's griffin vulture. See the wildebeest right behind the zebra. Got a nice view of the zebra. It's a bit windy right now. Here is the ostrich. Marabou stork. So the stork has a fantastic, nice habitat. What if he's cold? The stork has a nice stream of water. There we go. On the one leg, looks like. A zebra research station. All sorts of information up on the walls. All about your migratory. A zebra study area. Of course, the best way to study them is to look at them. Somehow I doubt this stain is going to be utilized today. Alright, we got some waddle train. This type of bird you usually see in most zoos. But they're still nice to look at. You see they have a very nice habitat. 
Lots of water. Nice, this tree over here to the right. Far off is all the vultures. All right, so that's the end of the African journey. All right, so I worked my way back to the Sky Safari, which is open now. There's three tokens. Each token is one dollar. All right, you're on the Sky Safari ride. Give me an opportunity to take off my face mask. Now I'm filming this on my cell phone, so you're probably going to hear wind. That's the savanna area with all the zebra and wildebeest. See the white pelican that I scared earlier. Lots of waterways throughout the zoo, which is really nice. It was literally raining leaves earlier. You can see the leaves everywhere. It's one of the things I don't get in my home state of Florida. I mean, we get leaves falling, of course, but we don't get the really change of seasons like you do up in the north. We essentially have two seasons in the state of Florida, hot and not as hot. So I'm definitely enjoying the cooler temperatures. It's a nice round trip. So the colors are changing. In a few months, this will all be covered in snow.
coming up at a turnaround. Oh, that's awesome. See the rain of leaves. Yeah, apparently I'm the only one that's crazy enough to be up here. But then again, most people that are visiting the zoo are most likely locals and they come here often. This is my first time here. See just how breezy it is. So on my tour videos, I show literally everything there is to do at the zoo, including rides such as this. Even though the majority of this particular ride is over blank field, without any extra view of the animals, it's still fun. Possibly more enjoyable in the warmer weather. It'd probably be a nice way to cool off. This is the device the people were using to inspect the ride.
Now as far as acreage go, this is the third largest zoo in the state of Indiana. I feel bad for the worker here. He's going to be really bored today. He said, I'm the first person on this and probably going to be the only person on this. Coming into the exit. I did, it was very nice, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely breezy. <laughs> it was nice though. Nice and relaxing. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright, so we are gonna go back through the tunnel and continue. All right, so from the African journey, which we went to the right, now we're gonna head to the left and continue on. All right, so apparently there are no standalone maps, so this is my paper map that was given to me at the front entrance. So giving you an idea of where I'm at, this is the main entrance. I'm standing about right here. We already did the African journey because I forgot to show you guys the map before I went in. And I have it held down with my drink cup because it is very windy. So I did the, the Sky Safari, which is right here. So according to this, you keep following the path to the right. So we're going to follow the path to the right where I'm at. And go up here. And see all the animals. And then we're going to come back down and follow the path again to the right. And continue on. So if I remember, I will show you the map periodically so you know where I'm at. I apologize ahead of time if I forget to show you the map each time. All right, so going up to the Indonesian rainforest. All right, right up the path, we got the pony trail. Hello, so pony rides are six tokens each. Of course, I am too big for the ponies. Ponies are small horses. So pony rides go around in a circle. That's cool, they even got a really small pony for the really little kids. And the pony. And that's the miniature pony, I guess you could call it. That's for the really little kids, you saw the little girl on it. Alright, Indonesian rainforest. Alright. You can hear the, the bells. All right, cluttered leopard. One day we were here. The cluttered leopard's habitat. Do you not see the cluttered leopard at the moment? So I'll definitely return a little bit later to see the cluttered leopard. Hopefully. We're gonna go inside Dr. Diversity's Rainforest Research Station. Wow, look at this. The elephant skeleton. Now this is nicely themed. Got all the animal habitats with books. That's a dead leaf mantis. I see him right here. 
Wow, this guy's got fantastic camouflage. We got thorny devils. And this is buggy back here. That is so cool. Wow. The northern tree shrew. Cute little critter. Oh, he's quick. So we got a tentacled snake. Right in the water. There should be crocodile skink and Borneo eared frog. So I see some of the froggies. But the crocodile skunk I do not see because he's blending in so perfectly with his habitat. We get a red-tailed green rat snake. What is this snakey's habitat? There he is. There he is. I apologize for this being graphic, but just showing you he had his lunch ready. Very nice coloration. There's a butterfly study area. These are all real butterflies. Died in natural causes because their lifespan of butterflies is not very long. Get reticulated python. This is a reticulated python. 17 years old. This used to be someone's pet. She's 17. So I apologize ahead of time if my lens fogs up again. I will continue to wipe it down until it gets to the proper temperature. It will not fog. So we are in a climate controlled building. Very humid in here. All right, Orangutan Valley. All right, Orangutan. One of them here sleeping. All curled up. Look at that. Look at the young climbing all over Papa, it looks like. Or it might be the mother, I'm not sure. These guys got all sorts of space and all sorts of stuff to climb on, including each other, like the paths. You can see we are in a dome. You can see rainforest hot, humid, and wet. There's all sorts of birds in here as well. I saw a few. When I first came in, look at that. And I hear one of the birds. Lots and lots of plants and trees. Part is awesome. There's also lots of literature about the different plants. Those banana plants very important. If you are a fan of bananas. I see a little duck. It's cleaning its feathers or there you go, little ducky. This bird in here eating some food. Oh, mousy too. All right, right at the end of this trail, we got restroom locations. All right, get endangered species carousel. Takes three tokens. Adult gets the ride free standing. See all the different animals that are on it. Look at 
And we got the Treetops Cafe. This is their menu board. Alright, carousel in action. Always fun to go on. And we got some Sumatran Tigers. Got Bagara and Inda. Alright, so I just saw one of them walking around in the back. Between the trees, I do see the one over here on the side. Oh, there's the other one in the back. And he's gone. This area's got all sorts of boardwalks. There's another viewing area for the tiger, so hopefully get to see the other one better. And that wild tiger count, 1940s, was 100,000. And there's fewer than 3,000 in 2008 in the wild. Some of these tigers are extinct and once they're gone that's it. They are gone forever. The South China tigers are only available in zoos. There's zero left in the wild. There's more to tiger habitat. All along the back is where he's pacing back and forth. So I came back around the first view area and you see part of them. There we go. All right, gonna get a fantastic view hopefully. go all right look at that and that's the other tiger that we saw the first one that was right behind all the trees this guy was playing with me he kept going further back and then when I go over here by the fence where he is he sticks his head around and goes back back over here <laughs> he'd stick his head around see me and then run back <laughs> hey pretty kitty oh, he's following me now he knows I'm trying to see him on my camera he kept looking up to see where I was oh yeah I got a nice big lake We're on the treetops trail. Oh, we got some job in Gibbon. Alright, looks like having some bananas. There's another one further back. We got all sorts of stuff to swing on. We got some wrinkled hornbill. Another hornbill species at this zoo that I've never seen before. So nice. Yeah, that little birdies got sneak in, enjoying the free food. We got a prevost squirrel. I think he's cute little squirrely. I'm definitely a fan of squirrels. Sorry, I'm trying to get a better view of them. Where'd you go, Squirrely? Oh, there we go. Very wise words. This awesome Komodo dragon statue. Let's see, it's a Volturan guinea fowl. There we go. 
They're such nice looking birds. Look at that, all right. A bright red panda. Get two of the fuzzy little guys. Also known as the false panda or the firefox. All right, so ring-tailed lemurs. I do not currently see the ring-tailed lemur out. So they are in their evening habitat. It's climate controlled. So I uh, will check back again a little bit later to see if they're out. Maybe too cold for them today. This is a peacock. This is a wild bird. They're very opportunistic. And this is the male peacock. You can tell by its bright coloring of its feathers. The females are a dull brown. Because the males come to them, they don't need to be flashy. Alright, so we backtrack now. Alright, so I'm keeping with the zoo's suggestion. We're going to make a right turn from the path I was just on. Just going to head towards the Australian Adventure. And these are Canadian geese. These are also wild birds. Because they're not wearing bands on their legs, it tells me that they do not belong to the zoo or the zoo does not maintain them all right north american river otter this guy's got a very nice habitat and i see them oh they know they got an audience now they know they got an audience there we go all right Love to see these guys hang out together and have fun playing in the water and cuddling with each other. Oh, they're by the door. I guess you want to go in. Is there any more of their very nice habitat that you have? see them right by the door oh they see me again very nice of them to accommodate me Seems like the one is the leader of them. Because he follow them over. Alright, sea lions. Got a water jet spray on the glass, so it makes it a little difficult to get a clear view up above, anyway. Look at that. Woo! Quick on land, sleek at sea. See, these guys got lots of space. Woo! Man, they're going all over the place. See the water jet spraying on the glass. Got a nice photo op. All right, 
we got some black footed penguin. Another really nice lake. All right, American alligator. They're critters I'm all too familiar with being from the state of Florida. We have these things all over the place. Any body of fresh water, there's going to be alligators in it. So I apologize for the reflection. I was just trying to show you the way they hang down on the bottom. Nice toothy smile he's got. This is Habitat's gonna have some red rubbed agati. And we got some white faced sake. Let's see one of the white faced sake. Very aptly named. Right, I do not see the red rump agati. Of course, it's really small little animal. It could be almost anywhere, I'm just missing it. Alright. Here at the train station, gonna wait for the train. The train ride is three tokens. You purchase tokens right at the machines. Alright, I hear the railroad crossing going off. So that means the train is coming back. There we go. The train we're going to be going on. Alright, so I'm on the train right now. And they are skipping seats. Group of people can be together. Starting. Hello and welcome aboard the Z O and O Railroad. For your safety, we ask that you please remain seated and keep your head, arms, and legs inside the train at all times. Thank you. Enjoy your ride. All aboard. Zoo has lots of lakes.
peacock. Wildflowers. make a really nice canopy. looking tree. path we just took. trail we were on. Broken branch. Uh oh. He 
Cock on every other tracks. Wanna run the peacock over? Hey, buddy, wanna ride? Hop on. Didn't want to get on. Egret again. <laughs> Behind the scenes buildings. Going through our tunnel again. Center. Squirrels. Uh, see some squirrels. Heading zoo area. All right, we are back at the station. We hope you enjoyed your ride today. For your safety, we ask you please remain seated until the train comes to a full and complete stop. As a reminder, masks are required in this area. Yes, everybody, please practice social distancing while you enjoy the rest of your day here at the Fort Wayne. Train you were just on. Going for another spin.